Number six, a 0.25 kilogram block of a pure material is heated from 20 degrees Celsius to 65 degrees Celsius by the addition of 4.35 kilojoules of energy. Calculate its specific heat and identify the substance. Okay, so basically, right, mass, change in temperature, energy, and specific heat. How are they related? Via this formula over here on the right-hand side. All right, check out my general video on calorimetry. It might also help um, in terms of just identifying these things. So here we have the formula that says the heat gained or lost by a particular object will be equal to the mass of that object multiplied by the specific heat of that object multiplied then by the change in temperature of that object. Now the the one, one variable out of these four that can identify a material is the specific heat. Uh, notice that here we have a table with certain specific heats and the values of those specific heats change as the material changes. Now that doesn't mean that objects can't have very, very similar specific heats. I mean, look over here. You have concrete is about 840 and glass is about 840. Are they exactly the same? Guaranteed no. They are, you know, you might say, well, wait a minute, that, that's the same number. Well, remember, these are measured, okay? And these are probably approximate. What's the probability that all the way out to the most infinitesimal decimal point, these two numbers are the same? Uh, zero, right? So they're definitely not the same. Now, uh, anyway, let's get back to business. So we have to solve then for the specific heat. So we just divide out the mass and the change in temperature from both sides. So we realize that the specific heat will equal the heat gained or lost by the object divided by the mass of that object multiplied by the change in temperature. All right, let's just make sure we have all the right units. The heat has to be in joules. Oh, they gave it to us in kilojoules, but that's not a problem, right? You know to convert by now kilojoules into joules, you just have to multiply this value by 1,000 or basically just move the decimal three places to the right. It doesn't matter. They're both easy methods. So this is 4,350. That's gonna be then divided by the mass and it has to be in kilograms, so they told us 0.25, great and then the change in temperature. So this is again going to be final minus initial, okay? So it says final value is 65, and minus then the initial is 20, and that's it. Now, another note is that since it said that a material is being heated, I know then the Q value appears positive. All right, remember Q, the sign of Q, is just dependent upon whether heat's being gained or lost. If it's gained, Q is positive, and if it's lost by the object, Q is negative. All right, so let's do it now. For uh, 4,350 divided by then in parentheses 0.25 times now 65 minus 20. Close those parentheses. And here we get a value of about 387. 387. And we are, right, the units then of specific heat will be joule per uh, kilogram degree Celsius. So this is the value. And now all we have to do is go hunting for that value in our table. So we're going to look, and I don't even know where it is. I'm looking with you. So you probably, oh, there it is. Copper. All right. So copper, 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 copper. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully this helps. Please remember to subscribe and we look forward to helping you with more problems. Take care.